Yep. So, that's Adam giving us our rundown of how to uh, survive. We have wall squids and a way for us to go through. I kind of was caught deer in the headlights there, but man, everything seems to be going fine. But sadly, we've locked ourselves in. Or have we? So, uh, there's a power up that I need to get. Nope. Damn you. So yes, you can also uh, counter in midair. Okay, up we go, around. Hey, take you out just so that then you're out. Take care of those things, which are really supposed to counter. Like that. Oh yeah, charge beam isn't too much better for that type of destroying the wall. So. I'm going through this the best I can. And just avoiding as many threats as possible. While the panda cloak is an active, an enemy cannot detect you. We've already gotten this down. And that was ME03, Morph Ball. Yeah, I'm going to just say it because that one's easy. the wall jump so much. It's just faster to move around and now to redirect some lava flow. So we've restored that. We could try going to the right, which is a nice save station, so I'll take it. Also, if I ever get really quiet in an Emmy area, I'm listening for that because you can actually use the sound of where it is to help you figure out how dead you are. Like in a time period, in a time frame of like, yeah, next five seconds type of thing. So that has replenished our missile count and energy. So now with that active, we can go over to here.
this is a special switch. Hit it with a fully charged beam and you're good. Uh, no waste of time. Otherwise, you can just keep pelting it with the regular charge shot. Personally, just go with the charge beam. It makes your life easier, especially with one specific fight. Wrong target. Yeah, I kind of just fling missiles wherever. Not playing your game. Okay, that has given us a shortcut here. And now we have the other uh, flow diverted. Okay, that's still flaming death. But now that's opened. Kind of why we needed that uh, shortcut. Okay, still took two missiles. I wasn't supposed to take that much. Uh, I could save, but I'll just keep going. Especially since we just have to go through here. Through here. Because that's a power beam door, but I don't think... Nope, I do have to go through it. One slight scare later, uh, we can either head down and back to the entrance, or we can head through here. Around, down, and out. Oh my heart, it is not... It is both strong enough and not strong enough for those moments. Oh yeah, you can also counter while on Midas. That's death, so don't go in there. Here's the lowdown. Uploading data. SE stands for Extraplanetary Multiform Mobile Identifier. It can procedurally modify and enhance its own capabilities. Its ability to configure itself to fit into narrow spaces is a standard feature. Any ME you encounter will likely do so as it pursues you. And what about the first two? You are not capable of destroying their armor plating. This would be true even of your full capabilities. You are faced with overwhelming power. Accept your helplessness. Study each enemy carefully and use the Phantom Cloak to advance. There are risks even here. The Phantom Cloak reduces your mobility and consumes more AN when you move or shoot. It is still your best chance at survival. Do not hesitate to destroy an enemy whenever you discover more you need energy. This was not one of your original priorities. However, I see no other way to accomplish your goal. These existential threats cannot be sanctioned. Okay. So now we have a bonus objective. Destroy the enemy.
Okay, in here. This fun. Okay, this is bad. I'm dead. I can't deal with the panic moments of that, and it just wouldn't leave. Okay, so here's how I normally handle some of these moments. Just run. Just one through. It's better than waiting. I tried playing it smart and it didn't work. Just didn't. And that segment kind of lends itself more towards don't don't think, just run. Especially with where we have to go. Save a progress and move along. Just use that. Makes things easier. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were there. How did I miss from that range? 
So yes, we got the other pump active, and that actually changes some of the areas. So now, uh, the lava in this portion of the world has drained. Specifically, this room, I don't remember where else might have been affected. I think really just here. 